Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to go about resolving a Discord error 1105. This says it's temporarily unavailable, and now you've requested a page on a website that is on the Cloudflare network. This page cannot be rendered due to a temporary fault. So the first thing I would actually would suggest would be just to wait a couple minutes and then refresh the page and see if that has resolved the problem. Another thing you can try here would be to actually go ahead and just restart your computer, see if that resolves the problem too. A further thing you can try here would be to go ahead and open up the start menu, type in CMD, best results should come back with command prompt. You want to right click on that and select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, select yes. Now into this command prompt you want to type in ipconfig space forward slash flush DNS flush DNS should all be one word attached to that forward slash out front. Hit enter to keep it to run that. Should say successfully flush a DNS resolver cache. Next command you want to type in is NETSH space WinSock W-I-N-S-O-C-K space reset. Hit enter to keep it to run that. So you will need to restart your computer in order to complete the reset which I would recommend doing at this point. And once you restart your computer attempt to launch Discord once again and hopefully that would have resolved the problem. One final thing we can try here would be to open up the start menu, type in percent sign local app data percent sign. Go ahead and open that up. Should be a file folder on your computer. Okay, so now that you're here, you want to go into the Discord folder and delete anything in here and then just right click and delete. Or if you want to use the keyboard shortcut, you can just to delete it. And that should hopefully be about it, guys. So as always, thank you for watching. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.